Lamed Aleph, Lamed Aleph. Mevian Eitzim Min Asada Umin HaMekainis, Umin HaKarfif. So you're allowed to, we're discussing over here things that are mukta. That means that you set them aside, you set them out of your mind, that you're not going to use it. Now, um, certain things are clear that you are going to use it. For instance, if you gather wood in your house and you put it next to the fireplace, so you're guaranteed that you put it there because you want to use it. So the question is how far, you, what, how big are the circumstances, how far does this go? So Mevin Eitz Minasada, you're allowed to bring wood from the field. From the field, if you gathered wood and you just left it in the field, that you're allowed to use because obviously you gathered it to be used. And from the enclosure, like a shed type of thing, like a enclosure that is a filu minimum fuzzer. If it's an enclosed area, even though the wood is uh, spread around, um, you're still allowed to use it. Ezu karfif, what is a karfif? Culture of air, as long as it's close to the city. So some Roshanim say that close to the city is the Bura Yishalir, which is uh, 70 Amis that every city has uh, in addition to the city itself, and there are 70 Amis uh, to it. So, uh, so again, so if you have an enclosure that's close to the city within 70 Amis, then you're allowed to take wood from that even though it was not gathered. Divra Rabbi Yehuda, that's a review of the whole. It's Rabbi Yisyemer. Kol shenachnasen loi bepesachas. Anything that you need a key to get into, that it's uh, protected. You know, the enclosure is protected. A filo b'teich chum shabbos, even though it's more than the 70 amas. As long as it's within the chum, that is um, good. Then you're allowed to go and take the woods from that enclosed area. Okay? Omar Rav Yehuda Omar Shmuel. Omar Rav Yehuda Omar Shmuel. A mevian eitzim element of mechnas and shabar karfif. You're only allowed to take wood from the enclosed area of a karfif. Vadnantnan. How can you say that? Vadnantnan mina karfif. Vafilu mina mafuzar. You're allowed to go in and take wood, even wood that's not gathered, you're allowed to take from a karfif. So the Gemara says you're right. You learned that you're not allowed. That you're not allowed. To, we learned in the Mishnah that you are allowed, to, even though it's spread out. Our Mishnah is going according to a um, to one man to Amar, to a single person. The Tanya we learned. Amar B'shem Ben Lazul Nechku B'sham Yisrael Machlekes B'sham Yisrael is not Al Mufuzar Shabbosadis is not when you have wood that's spread out in the field. Because in that case, everybody agrees that it's muktza she'im neviim, and you're not allowed to touch it. And everybody agrees also of al-mochnas and shabar karfif, that wood that was gathered in the enclosure, everybody agrees that it's not muktza, and that it's considered prepared. She'meviim, that you're allowed to use. Al-manachaklu, what is the machlekes? Al-mofuzar and shabar karfif. The gathered... I'm sorry, the spread out wood in the enclosed area of al Machnas and Shabbosadis and the gathered wood in the open area in the field. Shabbosami, Armim Layavi, Bishami holds the Inaladu. Demo Machmer, Bissalaymerm, Yavi, Bissal holds that it's mutter, they're mikl. Amrava. Rava says, so now, based on the idea that um, the gathering is uh, preparation to be used on Yantif. So Rava says, Ali Kanem, <coughs> leaves of uh, like reeds, Vali Gifanim, and leaves of uh, vines, of grape vines, Afalgav, the Mechanfilu, even though, Machnefilu, even though you gather them together, and Moisvi, Kivan the Imadli Zika, because if the wind comes, Mevader Luhu, it spreads it apart, come of Azarm Dami, so therefore it's considered like it is spread out, it's not uh, gathered. So again, so somebody gathers together a bunch of leaves, and he leaves it there for, for a day, then that's not considered gathering. He must have of, uh, got busy doing something else, and that's why he didn't continue. So it's not considered a preparation and gathering for use on Yontif. However, <laughs> but if you put some type of kli on top of it, some weight on top of that, dummy, then it is mutter, because the weight will hold it in place, and um, then his gathering actions you know, is a preparation to be used on Yontif. Okay, so we have Machlekes before in the Mishnah about the enclosure. The enclosure, um, Rabbi Yassi says that uh, you need a key for it. It has to be able to be uh, locked, to be actually sealed off. And um, he says, Shavis, even though it's not right next to it, even though it's further away, as long as it's in the Tchum, then it's good. So the Gemara asks like this, 
I don't understand. When Rabbi Yisi argues, does he argue on everything, even the distance? When he says that um, that that it could be within the Tchum, so what does he hold? That's a Rabbi Yehuda holds. Rabbi Yehuda holds that that. Um, that um, that it has to be close to, close to the city and it has to be able to be closed. It has to have a key. Vaas Rabbi Yisi the Meimer Kivin the Isle Pesachas I feel the Tzitzit Chum Shabbos Nami and Rabbi Yisi is Mekel and he says that even if it's out of the Tchum, even if it's out of the seventy Amis, even if it's not close to the city, as long as it's within the Tchum, then it's Mutter. So again. What's the point of the machlekes? Is it the point of the distance? But the Tanakhama still holds that it has to be closed, and it has to have a key. The Tanakama holds that it doesn't make a difference if it has a key or not. As long as it's close to the city, that's considered a karfif. The Osir B'Yesalem Eimer, B'Yesi argues, and he holds, that even if it's not close to the city, as long as it's within the Tum Shabbos, it's good. And his main point is that you need... <coughs> It to have a key. Avalas le pesachas. I feel some clear. Nami, but if it doesn't have a key, then even if it's close to the city, it's not good. Okay, so it comes out that according to this, that Rabbi Yisi is not a hundred percent makel. He holds that it might be, it can be far away. However, it still has to have a key. Because That means that it could be close, it could be further, I'm sorry, and it, and, and, um, it, it doesn't need a key when it's close. The only time it needs a key is when it's further away and within the Tchum. Shmami no, one second. Shmami no, Amar of Sala, Amar of Mirmi, Allah, Kerbesi, the Hakal, the Lacha, the Lacha, the Kerbesi, Yes. Okay, so is anyone comfortable enough that we said as long as you tied this up, it's good to whom, and it's not a key, that it would still be okay? Right, so the Khair or not? Like he holds it, the Khair is tied up. Right. Let me tie it. What's tied up in here? Gathered. Oh, gathered, gathered, gathered. 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 It's at the beginning. Huh? Gathered, they gathered. mean gathered. gathered. Yeah, l'chair. But it's chut z'chum, and it's also about a king. So we said it's machlek is b'sham v'esel. L'chair, our mission is going according to the, that uh, shita, the ikhidai. Right. Okay. A nevakin ate some loy minakoyra is loy minakoyra. You're not allowed to chop wood. So if you have a, a beam, you're not allowed to chop it. You're not allowed to chop wood from a beam. A beam is set aside to be used as a um, some building, and even if it broke beyantif, you're not allowed to chop it. Ve'im evakim loy bekardum. You're not allowed to chop. Ve'im evakim loy bekardum, not with a um, like an axe. I think that it's it's similar today to like um, uh, a sledgehammer. You know, a sledgehammer. A sledgehammer has two sides to it, right? Not a pickaxe, I'm sorry, a pickaxe. Okay. Pickaxe has like two sides to it. One side is like wide, mm-hmm. and the other side is narrow. Mm-hmm. Because you see soon in the Gemara, the wide side is meant to, to, to slice the wood the, uh, um, um, along the length, which is more of a professional... Um, what are you chopping um, um, What? What are you chopping wood for? For, for uh, wood. Fire. I'm not allowed to chop wood to build on Yantas. No, I'm allowed to... Ch- for, for fire. For fire, fire. Yantif. You can't do that. Yeah. I can't do it out of a beam. I can't do it... On Yantif, right? I can't do it on wood that we learned yesterday. On different types of woods, you can. Let's say you have a straw, or if I have wood that's prepared, or if I gather the wood, then I could cut that in half and put it in the fire. But uh, for a beam, which is uh, clearly was not meant to be used as a uh, firewood, that I'm not allowed to. Um, I'm not allowed to cut. It, even though you need it for firewood. Even though I need it. But once it falls and breaks, it's no longer usable as a beam. That's right. Before Yantif, though. Yeah. So what's the answer to that? So, so once it's no longer usable as a beam, it's not... Remember, we learned that mukta is dependent on the status ben ashmoshes. Okay. Ve'im evakim le bekardim le magero. Magero is a, um, an axe. Ve'lo um, be'magol, not with a sickle. Elo be'kaifetz, only with a, uh, a cleaver. I don't know, we'll see. It's not really... Let's say it's a cleaver, a butcher's knife. It cuts meat. So um, there's two types of cleavers. There's one type of cleaver like we have today. There's just a simple knife. And there's another type that also it's like a pickaxe somehow. I don't know. That it's uh, one side is wide and one side is narrow. See the Gemara. 
Okay? Zakti Gemara. So the problem is like this. If we learn the Mishnah again, let's just clarify the Mishnah. The Mishnah says that you're not allowed to chop a beam or a beam that broke a yantif. And then the Mishnah says that there is a case that you're allowed to do. You're allowed to do it with a butcher knife. So what's going on here? Are you allowed to cut a beam or you're not allowed to cut a beam? What's going on here? So Amr to Reish Eim Vakin Klal. The Reish said you're not allowed to chop at all. Amr of Yehuda, Amr Shmuel, Chsura Machsar Vachiktani. It's missing a few words. And we learned as follows. In Vakin, Eitzim, Loimen Aser Shokaris. You're not allowed to cut. Wood, leimen aser shakar is not from the pile of um, of uh, of beams. Veloi min akar shenish briyantiv neither of a beam that was broken on yantiv. El mavakim min akar shenish brim erev yantiv. But if broke erev yantiv, so then it's not muktza. Then I'm allowed to cut it. Shem mavakim, a mavakim loy be kardom loy be magol. You're not allowed to cut with a um, a kardom. An axe, a bimagal, a sickle, a magera, a saw, a little rather only with a knife. Tiny, a butcher knife. Tiny, I'm a hachi, a mavakin, ate some lemon, a serious, a curse, lemon, a curse, and isbriantif, the visha, a man, a mochan, because it's not considered um, beams, even if they broke on yantif, it's not considered a period, so therefore it's mukta, and you're not allowed to touch that. Okay? V'leib akard, and let's understand the knife, what's going on here. Amar av chenana, bar shalmi mishmei derav, leishanu el benach v'shalai. You're not allowed to use the female side. The female side is the wider side. Avul bezach v'shalai, but the narrow side, the male side, mutter, that side is is mutter, because that's not a professional um, um, part. I don't use that, like it's not a professional usage. So the Gemara says pshita. Why? Why it's pashit? If I have a part of a pickaxe that every single person knows how to use it, and it's not considered a a a a ma'isa uman, a professional uh, um, activity. So then, then definitely I can use it. So the Gemara says, but kaifetz tanan. We learned that a kaifetz you're allowed to use. So why can't I use the the other part? I would say that a kaifetz because the whole kli itself. Is uh, is used by anybody, so therefore the kli itself is mutter. Avalkardum because it has two sides. Avalkardum the kaifitz emo migu the high gisa aser high gisa nami aser, but a kardum has two sides. So therefore I would say because one side is also the other side is also aser. Kamash malan. Then not. The ikkid amasi la sefer. Those are learned to the opposite. El be kaifitz that you're only allowed to use a uh, a butcher's knife. So we're talking about a butcher's knife over here that has two sides, like I said before, there's two types of butcher knives. One butcher knife is also has like two sides to it, one's wider and one's narrower, and the narrow part is what's used by everybody, and the wider part is more of the professional uh, usage. So I would say, but you're not allowed to use the female side, pshita. It's simple, you're not allowed to use the female side. Why? Because of the No, we learned that you're not allowed to use the pickaxe. Oh, we think because the butcher's knife, at the end of the day, it's a butcher's knife that's allowed to be used. You're right, there's some side to it that's wider, that's used for, by professionals, but I would think the whole thing is mutter. Kamash Mulan, that not. Now, you're only allowed to use a side that you're, that's mutter to use, it's not considered a maisa uman. And so too by asering, also like we learned before, it only asers the side. That's the that's the ma'isa uman, okay? Zakta mishnah. Ba'ishu mali peiris. What happens? You have a house, a room that's um, full of fruit and you can't get in. The nifchas noito and it's filled up. The nifchas and if I'm sorry, and the wall fell down. Noito mi mokem abchas. Ramei emer af peiches lachila the noito. Ramei says you're actually allowed to destroy the wall to go in. So again, I have a, a room filled up with uh, fruit, and I can't get in. It's sealed off somehow with a wall, and um, yet the bricks fall down. The question is, if I'm allowed to go in and now and use it, um, even though it was sealed, and it, technically there's no way to get in a yantif without destroying, which you're not allowed to destroy a wall on yantif. Um, the mayor says you're actually allowed to go in and um, break apart the wall with your own hands. Let's see the Gemara. What's going on here? Right? Because normally you're not allowed to break apart any uh, structure. Right? That's Thira. I don't understand what's going on here. Why are you allowed to go in? Definitely according to her mayor, but even not according to her mayor, you're not allowed to go in and break apart 
the wall that's uh, steerous oil. You're breaking apart, you're demolishing. Like we learned yesterday, you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to break apart a binion. Amar of Nechumi Barad, Amar Shmuel Ba'aviro Delivni. We're talking about over here a um, structure that was built without any uh, cement, without any adhesive. So I just piled a bunch of bricks on each other. So that's not considered a building. That's not considered like it's, a, it's built as a structure. So therefore, taking that apart is not considered stira, is not uh, demolishing. So the Gemara says, Amar Nachme Hani Livni Banina Shari We learned that Mahani Livna Dayatim Binina, if I Ibn Binyana, if I have extra um, stones from a building, Shari Lutaltalinu, you're allowed to move it on Shabbos, Hayva Khazil Mazgalayu, Sharginu. Because I can make a chair out of it. So we see that um, that it's not meant for building at all. We see that that um, um, stones that are piled up in a pile, as long as they're not together, right? Piled up in a pile, and they're not they're not uh, they're not considered a, a, a building. And I'm allowed to use them. They're not attached together. There's no cement. They're not cemented. So I'm allowed to use them because I can make a chair out of here out of it. You would be able to use it, but then you're making something. Now you're doing something else. Oh, I see. Because they're, because they're not attached. It's not a binion. Oh, I see. And they're adding the idea that that uh, you don't just move it around for nothing. You're, you could make something out of it. But is making a chair a problem? On, on it's not making. It's not really. I'm not building a chair. I'm piling. I'm using it as a chair. You understand? Like I, I can't take wood and build a chair on Yantif, uh, on Shabbos. We're actually talking about Shabbos over here. But uh, but to use it as a chair to build it, put it together as a chair. That's not considered a building. Stop and. What? Yeah, so if it, if it wasn't for that, Stone, you could just, stones are yeah. muxa. But if I could use it as a chair, right. so then it's good. Only if you're only if you're destined before Shabbos, before Yantov. Depend. You're asking a question, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's I guess that's by regular stones. This is building blocks, bricks. So we're saying that the hetero over here is to use yeah. bricks is because it's normal to use as as piling it together, a few together, I could pile it up nicely to use as a chair. To make a chair. Right. However, stones that you were talking about, like regular stones, like we said, like to, to you right. have to set it aside to use for the bathroom, right? That you that, you're, that you have to right. set aside. That's talking about stones in the field. You have to nobody uh-huh. uses that. Okay. okay. Amar Mzeira beyond of Amr. So now we have like this. So Ba'etzim will say like this that that really that uh, when Rameir says Lachatchilo, you're allowed to go and 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 destroy the wall. He holds that um, that because of it's the, if it's a, because it's a, the Rabbanon, therefore Yantif is more lenient, and therefore you're allowed to do it on Yantif. Amar Mzeira beyond of Amru Avalei B'Shabbos. You're right on Shabbos. You're not allowed to do it. Tanya Mi'achir Rameir Emer Af Peches Lachatchilo Venetul Beyantif. Amru Avalei B'Shabbos. So he says, beyond I'm allowed to go destroy the wall to get the fruit. Amr Shmuel Chesem Shavar Karka, Matir. Chesem Shavar Karka. What happens if you have like a, a, a pit, and and the pit is closed and held down, but with a cover, and the cover, in order it shouldn't be moved away, is held down with ropes that are attached to the ground. Okay. So now, how do you attach these ropes to the to the lid, to the cover of uh, I don't know some barrel or. Uh, a pit, whatever it is, so I, I tie it down. Obviously, I tie it down, right? Yeah, you understand the picture? I have a barrel, I have a pit that's covered with a lid. Now, in order for the lid not to move, there's uh, ropes that are, are, are attached to the ground, and they and I, I tie them to the lid, and I tie the lid, I make a knot, and I close the lid, and it's a beautiful, it'll hold uh, strong, and the lid won't cut off. So the Allah is that you're allowed to untie it. Because the only thing that's usher, tying and untying on Shabbos and Yantav, is only usher, only if it's Kesha uh, Shokayama. But something that's open and taught, Kesha Shokayama, if it's, if, it's, if it's lasting, if it's a permanent knot. But something that's, that's constantly open and, and not open and, 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 and tied, for instance, a uh, tie. Right, people uh, tie it. I don't know, depends what generation you're from. But most, uh, some people, some people tie it and untie it constantly. Yeah. Some people tie it, you know, well, once a year, and they uh, you never untie it. Your shoelaces, the double knot on the shoelace also. It's if open. I, l'chayra, if I, if it's meant to tie and untie, right? If every single time you take off your shoelace, you untie it, so it's not considered a goaski local rabbi for But uh, it's not considered a kesha kiyama as long as it's uh, kiyama the whole shabbos at least. 
anyway, so over here also, because this thing is meant to untie constantly, therefore I can open it up. So let's see again. Omar Shmuel, Chesem Shabakarka Matir. You're allowed to untie it. Avalei Mafki, Avalei Chetach. However, you're not allowed to unravel or cut off the um, the string. Now the thing is like this: when something's attached to the ground, it it has the the of a of a of a building of building a building. If it's ta- if it's attached to the ground, even though it's a string, you might say it's just a rope. But um, if I cut it, so that's stira. Right, because I destroyed something, a building. Right, I destroyed a part of a building because anything attached to the ground is considered a building. Beyantif um, matir, but we see that yantif it's matir. Mafkia v'chaysech v'chaytech, and I'm allowed to uh, unravel it and cut it. So we see clearly that what that a yantif. Remeir is more mekel. Amani Remeir, Dama Av Peches Lechatchila V'Noitel. We say no that this is going according to Remeir that holds that you're allowed to open it up and unravel it. V'Noitel Upligi Rabbanon Allow. V'Nad Amik Rabbanon. And I say that it's going according to Rabbanon. Mitli Rabbanon Allow. But Chesem is Shavakarka. And does do the Chacham argue by Chesem is by rope in the in the ground and say Vatanya Moedim Chacham or Meir by Chesem is Shavakarka? The Chacham agree to Meir that uh, something that the, by the the case of the rope to the ground that it's um, that it's mutter to 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 untie. Shabbos Shabbos Matir Avolei Mafki Avolei Chaytach Beyantif. Matir or Mafkia v'chaytach. So we say like this: that that the, uh, we say according to the Chachamim, the Machlek is differentiating. We differentiate between Shabbos and Yantif. On Shabbos it's more Chomer, and in Yantif um, it's more uh, Kal. Okay, we'll stop over here.